Acetyltriphosphate, or also known as IP3, is activated by a single molecule binding to a receptor on the cell's plasma membrane. In the IP3's case, there is a G-linked protein receptor and a hormone as a single molecule. Once the hormone comes in contact with the receptor, a trimeric G protein is activated. The G protein consists of a G alpha subunit, a beta subunit, and a GDP, which stands for guanosine diphosphate. As the trimeric G protein activates, the energy is changed into GTP. GTP is also known as guanosine triphosphate. After GTP is created, the G alpha subunit interacts with PLC, aka phospholipase C, which detaches PIP2. PIP2 detaches from DAG. The detached PIP2 then turns into inositol phosphate. After the transition, IP3 diffuses into the cellular membrane of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. When IP3 interacts with the smooth ER, an IP3 gated calcium channel opens, releasing calcium molecules. The release of calcium molecules then leads to cellular responses. The response may occur in the cytoplasm or may involve action in the nucleus. A few of these responses include the opening or closing of an ion channel in the plasma membrane or a change in the cell metabolism. What is released from the gate that the IP3 activates? That's right! Calcium molecule! What does PLC activate? Oh goodness, you're right again! The detachment of DAG and PIP2 making IP3. Easy one. What is this? Man, you're on a roll. Yup, it's IP3. Okay, last one. What does this G protein consist of? I hope you got this one. G alpha subunit, G beta subunit, and GDP.